Vicki is a successful professional businesswoman who started her business right when she was diagnosed with breast cancer. Her husband had lost his job, there was no insurance through that avenue, and she was able to pick herself up, dust herself off, and with enthusiasm face fighting breast cancer. My favorite Vicki moment is when we were on the Rose uh, Pink Cruise and we were doing several different activities, but the last activity was going to Stingray City and I had a lot of trepidation about doing this and Vicki said, oh no, we must do this. This is an opportunity we couldn't miss. So we did go uh, out on the boat to Stingray City and uh, while we were there, got in the water, swam with the stingrays and uh, Vicki was absolutely enthusiastic, having so much fun. I was scared to death. I barely moved, but she was absolutely fearless. I really think Vicki is the perfect person to receive this award because uh, she is continuing chemotherapy treatment. Um, unfortunately, her cancer has come back in a different form and she will be on chemo for the rest of her life. But uh, you would never know it. I know many times that uh, they have called and asked her to come to speak to a group either from two to 200. She puts on her wig, puts on that great smile and shows up and makes everyone feel very comfortable. And no one would ever know she's sick, ever. She is there for the rose. She has done everything from entertaining at the shrimp boil to speaking at health fairs about the importance of mammograms to uh, taking registrations at the biker rally. Um, she is there anytime the Rose needs a volunteer. My greatest memory of the Rose is the um, community outreach that they do through health fairs, mobile mammography, and speaking engagements uh, within the city of Houston. The knowledgeable and caring staff that is there to tend to the patients from the moment they enter the building till they leave the building. And when a patient does receive a positive diagnosis, how they navigate them into the um, navigation programs that they have the ability to take some of the stress and shock away from the patient and help them feel loved and comforted that everything's going to be okay. The greatest need for the Rose is donations from corporations, organizations, and individuals. As an individual, check with your employer to see if they have a matching grants program. That basically doubles your donation to the Rose. In addition, you could create a family legacy by donating in memory of a loved one that has passed. I received treatment from a donation from the Pink Ribbon Project and we need more resources to provide women the same access of care. My goal for the Rose in the next 25 years is to see them be the number one screening facility in the city of Houston for insured patients, thus creating an unending revenue stream for the underinsured and uninsured patients. And, and I will be with the Rose every step of the way in the next 25 years. How can you help? We need your donations. We need you to help us each and every day until we achieve those goals. I'd like to thank you for honoring me with this award and for your donations this evening.